you know, with these videos, what we wanted to do is explain a property and who better to explain the why of all of that than the architect or the designer. I have the pleasure of speaking with Pia Arieta Morales, the managing partner at Dela Morales Properties Nifrec. Hello, Pia. Hi, Alfredo. How are you? I'm very good. I was wondering if you could shed a little bit of light on a new series of videos that you've published. I think you're in your third one's about to drop called The Architect Series. Yes, correct. It's uh it's it's more of a passion project to be honest. Uh, my ba my background is in audiovisual communication. A bit of a slight change to 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 real estate my sort of career took a bit of a detour there but in a way it's been good because obviously I can apply it to the audiovisual aspect of what we do in the company and I've always had an interest in architecture and photography so uh, you know when the idea came about of you know why don't we give a voice to the architects and the creators of these fantastic properties that we have in Marbella um, obviously that gave me an opportunity to couple sort of my love of photography video with architecture to create these um, these videos and and one thing that i've noticed that is perhaps different to a lot of other things that are out there that are of a similar nature is that these appear they're not really about the architects are they they are about the houses correct they're yeah they're about the houses of course because you know at the end of the day we are a real estate agency so i have to sort of uh gear it that way but in a way, it's also a celebration of the architect giving them a voice, which a lot of the times goes unheard or unnoticed, especially in in a secondary home market that we you know that we're dealing with. You know, people come here, they look at properties, uh, but then you know a lot of the times the why the property is built like that, why those materials were chosen, why that color palette was chosen why certain elements are placed where they are a lot of the times you know either the real estate agent doesn't know and the client isn't interested either so you know with these videos what we wanted to do is explain a property and who better to explain the why of all of that than the architect or the designer so i, I see it as a little bit of a a love letter to the property you know of sorts <laughs> it you is. Know? It, yeah you know? it is it is in a way uh, and I I think it also helps both, you know, viewers, clients, real estate agents understand the property, you know, to its sort of full, understand its full potential and 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 why you know it, it it sits on the plot the way it sits, why why it was created that way, the challenges that it brought about as well when it was being built, and sort of you know get to real the, the real essence of the property to the first three videos can you tell me a little bit about those the first three properties that you picked just you know. yeah the first one was uh, casa cristal it's a property by juan salvador schwarzberg in la zagaleta and we chose that property as the first one because it's a property that was built nearly 20 years ago and to be honest i'm still amazed every time i go there because if you tell me that it was built five years ago i would i would believe you so it's a, it's a really good example of timeless architecture. You know, we've seen the the sort of architecture scenario and 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 um, uh, and you know the properties that have been built in Marbella in the last sort of ten years have gone from the obviously the more traditional um, Andalusian style to you know the very modern boxy um, large windows in a way sort of soulless properties which in a lot of cases don't age very well and you know they soon get, become outdated and you know when we come across properties that 20 years on are still sort of on trend and you can't really identify when they were built that's amazing um, and I think that's a testament to really good architecture and choices in the design of the property. Okay, so then going on to the second one that you did, which one was that? That was Villa La Favorita, also in La Zagaleta, and that's by MS Design. Uh, and in, in that video, we interviewed Maurice Sainz, uh, who together with his uh, father, uh, Marco Sainz, 
um, they, they run the studio. And that's also a, a property that's quite stunning as well. Obviously, it's one of the best plots in La Zagaleta. It's, I think also it's a really good example of MS design architecture, which is, I mean, they're very well known for blending really well the traditional architecture with modern architecture. So they're very well known for their modern homes, but still using um, the Arabic tiles, which obviously is very common in, um, in our architecture here. So now let's talk about the third one, the one that has been released today. Which one's that one? Tell me about that. So this video is about a really stunning property in Kamohan. So it's just a sort of a residential area just uh, above the Golden Mile. And it's a property um, by the architect Juan Carlos Tortosa. He's done it for uh, the developer Grupo Vasari, who's a very well-known developer in Marbella. And this property, we really liked it for the videos because um, it's a very challenging plot. Um, and just the way that the house has been designed and set on the plot um, is really fantastic because it makes full use of the plot without it feeling the plot is very long and sort of rectangular towards the sea so initially it must have been a very challenging uh design uh but they've they've done it really nicely and um, when you're inside the house there's a really nice flow between the inside and the outside there's a lot of green inside there's an olive tree upstairs so there's a lot of sort of seamless transitioning between the indoors and the outdoors so is this then a series that how many more in the series do you expect that you'll do after this one then? I'd like to do this forever, to be honest. Like I said at the beginning, it is a passion project. So um, sometimes it is challenging to find properties that lend themselves well um, for sort of an audiovisual production. But we're constantly looking for new properties, uh, also, you know, to interview new architects and, and, and give uh, architects that maybe are not so well known a voice as well so yeah if you've got any suggestions let me know <laughs> okay great so uh, uh, this tell me a little bit just about the production aspect of it. It, it it can't be look at least looking at the first three videos it doesn't look like it's a quick a quick slam bam thank you man with it with an iphone tell me a little what's what's involved in the production of these is it are you producing it yourself yes yeah we're producing it ourselves with the team in-house we sometimes get a little bit of external help but no it's it's not easy and it's a lot of hours um, you know at the property um, as you've seen from the videos they're they're very well thought out in terms of the photography aspect the visual part obviously this is the sound part with the with the um, interviews to the architect is super important as well that has to be monitored all the time while we're filming but then there's a lot of hours in making sure that we're getting shots of everything that the architect has spoken about um, so that you you come away after viewing the video, you know, really understanding the property and, you know, as much of it as possible in terms of, you know, all the materials used, the design, the layouts. So, yeah, it's, it's not easy. And then, of course, afterwards, the post-production. Um, that's a lot of hours in post-production as well. So, and the fact is that you're not even in the videos, are you? At least so far. No. Yeah, we. I didn't want to appear in the videos because I really want the video to be about the architect and the house. Eventually, I don't know if I will end up appearing in them. Um, but for now, you know, I like, I, I want to make them that way. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for explaining the situation about the architect series and me and just appearing on video this is a unique moment in the history of the world you rarely appear on video so thank yes. you very much <laughs> and uh, look forward to seeing the fourth uh, episode when, when would we expect the fourth one to come out more or less do you think given that the third one just came out is it a couple of months hope, time something like that That's what yeah feeling, hope, well hopefully before we're we're currently starting to plan it so i hope that within the next month and a half um we'll have it ready Okay, well, thank you very much, Pia. Speak to you soon. Perfect. Thank you.